In this video, we'll be talking about Virtual Private Network or VPN. In Network Security, one of the important topics is on how to accomplish secure transmissions. Because there is always the danger of a third party intercepting your traffic and abuse it. One way of doing it is using uh, an entirely private network, meaning no one else can have access to that network so that the privacy of the communication is ensured 100%. But this approach is very expensive because you have to build your own private network and you have to invest the money in creating that network and no one else can be using the network so there's no way you can make any money out of the network other than the use of the network only for your own organization. Since the private network approach is very expensive, an alternative is to actually use a public network such as the internet and somehow use another mechanism to protect the communication and somehow achieving the same effect as using the private network and in this case the mechanism I'm referring to could be something called encryption so if you use encryption encryption scrambles everything in terms of the traffic going between the two parties so even if somebody intercepts the communication there is very little chance for that third party to be able to understand the content of the traffic so the nice thing about this approach is the fact that you are using the private network and it is much less expensive than using your own private network to accomplish secure transmissions. Therefore, this is pretty much uh, the way business is conducted today in terms of securing your traffic between you and the other party you're trying to communicate with. And when we say virtual private network, this is basically what the acronym VPN refers to. So here is a full definition of VPN. VPN uses a public network such as the internet to accomplish secure exchanges of information between two hosts or more hosts. Now we can talk about VPN topologies and when we say topologies what we mean by that is how network devices are put together to accomplish a virtual private network. Here the main mechanism being used is something called tunneling and we'll briefly talk about what tunneling is in the next slide. Tunneling refers to putting packets of one protocol into the packets of another protocol and the act of inserting packets into or anything actually into a packet another packet is called encapsulation so basically tunneling refers to encapsulating packets of one protocol into the packets of another protocol so to give you an analogy it is similar to using a postal service so sending a letter I guess it's one protocol so let's say you're trying to write a letter to your parent and that is like a packet of one protocol but then you put it in an envelope and then the postal service somehow moves the envelope from one location to the other so that is another protocol the postal service is another protocol putting the letter into the envelope I mean we can look at it as a form of encapsulation. VPN can be thought of a tunneling protocol because 
Once you have your VPN connection established, you can be using other applications, for example, such as HTTP, SMTP, which is an email protocol, and so on, to send messages in between multiple parties using the VPN protocol. And the way it works is to encapsulate the other protocols packets into the VPNs packets. So that is exactly the definition of tunneling, right? So the packets of other protocols such as HTTP or SMTP, they're now encapsulated into the packets of VPN. So that's why we can look at VPN as a form of tunneling. And one of the VPN topologies using tunneling is called host to host. So here's how host to host VPN topology works. As you can see here, you have two independent hosts, and there's nothing intermediating in between the two independent hosts. All that's happening is the two hosts will be using this tunneling protocol. In this case, one of the VPN protocols. And the two hosts are directly connected. Therefore, everything going from host 1 to host 2 will be entirely encrypted. And the VPN tunnel makes sure there is encryption between the two hosts. So that's why this is called host to host because there is nothing other than the two hosts involved in this uh, VPN tunnel or tunneling. Another VPN topology is called site to site because in this VPN topology we have more than just two hosts being connected. So in this case we have a new device called the uh, VPN concentrator. So we need actually two VPN concentrators. And instead of directly communicating with each other using tunneling, the two hosts now are sitting behind the VPN concentrators. So what happens is host one will be connected to the VPN concentrator one and the VPN concentrator one will be in turn connected to VPN concentrator two and then host two will be connected to VPN concentrator two. So for the two hosts to be securely communicating what happens is they just assume that the network behind the VPN concentrators or in this case VPN concentrator 1 is secure so they don't really do any encryption in this case between host 1 and VPN concentrator 1 but the only encryption that's actually happening is between the two VPN concentrators VPN concentrator 1 and VPN concentrator 2 so as a result, what's going on is only the traffic between VPN Concentrator 1 and VPN Concentrator 2 gets encrypted in a tunnel or in a tunneling protocol. So that's why it's called site to site. Our final VPN topology example is remote access. So in this case, what's communicating is a host and the VPN concentrator. So uh, this is commonly used when you're working from home or when you're traveling and you want to have a secure access to your work network. So that's a typical scenario in which this topology is being used. So the difference now here is the tunnel is created between an individual host and the VPN concentrator. As you can see then, what's being encrypted is anything that goes between the host and the VPN concentrator. And once connected, the host has full network access behind the VPN concentrator. So that's 
what remote access topology is. Some of the very well-known examples of VPN is Secure Socket Layer or SSL or IPsec or Internet Protocol Security and we'll have separate videos that discuss both of these two VPN protocols Secure Socket Layer it's also called uh, Transport Layer Security or TLS and IPsec. Thanks for watching.